hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so just like i said you guys i am starting a perfume tray series on my channel basically i want to get some more use out of my perfumes and i want to be able to rotate through my entire collection and use more of my fragrances because it's really easy for me to get into a routine and only use the fragrances that i really like or only use certain scents for certain seasons and certain occasions so i kind of want to break out of that and i feel like by doing a perfume tray it'll kind of hold me accountable to reach for different scents and get some use out of different scents as well as try out my new perfumes that i bring into my collection like instead of just wearing them one or two times you know really get a feel for the scents that i'm bringing into my collection and if i want to keep certain scents and things like that so i thought that doing a perfume tray would be really fun as well as fun for you guys so that you can see what perfumes i'm going to be picking out and then of course when i come up with my layering combinations i will be sharing those with you guys in a layering video letting you guys know what i paired with these perfumes so for right now i'm going to start out with a bi-weekly tray just because i'm already starting kind of sort of at the end of july and then maybe you know once i get used to doing this i'll move it up to like monthly and i'll add more perfumes to the tray but right now i'm going to start with bi-weekly and for this tray we are still very much in the middle of summer so this tray is going to include a nice mix of like sweet but not too sweet perfumes like you know more so for the summertime sweet perfumes as well as some more fresh type of perfumes which y'all know i'm not a super fresh girl i like to keep it more on the fruity and sweet side so all of my perfumes will in some type of way be sweet a lot of these perfumes i need to re-familiarize myself with and then i also have some new additions to my collection that i have to actually wear on my skin and try them out so let's actually start with the new additions right now so the first one i have is going to be mont blanc signature i'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with this one this one is really really hyped up on youtube and so many people actually really enjoy and like this scent so i thought that i would go ahead and try it because a lot of people describe this as a very classic signature scent worthy perfume they say that it smells really sweet and citrusy and creamy and from first impressions smelling it because like i said i haven't wore this one on my skin but first impressions smelling it i really do like it and to me you guys this one is more of an orange cream sickle than the amo ferragamo that i got in my last perfume haul if you guys saw that video then you already know what i'm referring to this to me smells more like an orange cream sickle than that perfume this one has clementine it has magnolia peony musk vanilla and that's mainly what i smell this definitely has that sweet clementine scent like that sweet citrus scent because if you guys know clementines are not super super like tangy and tart they're very sweet so i can definitely smell that in this perfume i also get the magnolia and the peony that's what keeps this perfume smelling like classy and sophisticated and very feminine and then i also get that like musky vanilla dry down in this but once again like i said i have not wore this on my skin that's just what i'm getting from spraying it out of the cap so i'm adding that to the tray because i really do want to try out that perfume the next one that i'm going to bring in i'm super excited about this one i'm already loving it this is lolita land by lolita limpica so this right here i've heard people talk about this one but i don't know why i held off on buying it but i'm so happy that i finally brought it into my collection so this has a ton of citrus top notes i'm talking about it has everything it has like clementine mandarin orange lime um it also has like bellini in it as one of the top notes but then you get the peach in the middle and that's mostly what i get i get a peach licorice vanilla smell from this scent it also has some benzoin in there as well but i get the references some people have said that this reminds them of la belle from john paul gautier and i definitely get those references okay because to me this smells like the peach version of la belle if you guys don't know john paul gautier's la belle is like a pear custard fragrance okay it has pear vanilla and vetiver this to me smells like that but in the peach version so replace the pear with the peach and i don't know i really really like this scent you guys like i'm loving it first impressions 
smells super super good so we will have to see how it actually does on my skin especially in the heat but for right now i'm loving it so we will be adding that one to the tray okay next is going to be another new one that i just got into the collection this is from mugler and this is the angel au crossier so this one is a mango sorbet praline patchouli tropical type of scent and i wanted this one instead of the 2020 version i believe i don't know this is the 2019 version but i wanted this one instead of the other one because i wanted that mango like i wanted that mango scent note this perfume is so well blended like it's a very you can tell that this is a high-end perfume it's very well blended to where i don't really get all of the notes like distinctly i can just kind of smell this tropical type of smell and i can definitely smell the patchouli in this as well but everything else just is kind of blended together and that was what i got from testing it like on the box that it came with i didn't actually spray this on my skin yet to test it out so i'm not too sure how this one is going to do on my skin if i'm going to get more of those notes coming out or not but yeah so far i do really like this one i do think that it's a nice tropical you know warm weather type of scent but we'll have to see how it actually does on my skin next is going to be my dolce garden so i'm familiar with this scent already this is not new to my collection but i haven't worn it a whole lot but i do know from um actually having it in my collection this is more of your like floral creamy coconut and it definitely has that distinctive note that all the Dolce scents in this packaging have. Like they all have this very distinct note. And if you guys have any of these, then you know what I'm talking about. But for the most part, I definitely get that creamy coconut smell. Um, definitely get the florals as well. This, I was expecting this to smell like a really, really heavy floral type of scent. Because I mean, the name is Garden. But this definitely smells a lot more tropical, a lot more warm weather appropriate. Like I would definitely take this on vacation with me or something because of the scent i feel like it's a nice balance between being tropical and floral you know so i wanted to add this one so that i can get some use out of that one and re-familiarize myself with it next is going to be roberto cavalli's gemma di paradiso this is another one that i need to re-familiarize myself with from what i remember this is like a freshy pear white floral type of scent with like a really really sweet and nice creamy vanilla woodsy dry down and that is the main reason why i really really like this perfume perfume because it's something about like the freshness of the pear mixed with the vanilla woodsy notes it is so good and the more it wears on the skin like the more that the vanilla and the woodsy notes come out it's just so so good it also has this kind of like aquatic feel to it without being too watery you know what i'm saying this is just like a really perfect type of warm weather scent and i love this bottle this bottle is high end high class luxury i'm not sure if they've discontinued this perfume already because i did hear some people saying that this one was going to be discontinued and i'm not sure about that i hope not because i would love to get another one of these not now obviously but but i would be really really sad to find out that they discontinued it okay next this is another citrusy i guess freshy type of scent i don't really like to call this one fresh i like to say it's more crisp because this is not like a fresh and clean type of scent in my opinion but this is dolce and gabbana's light blue love is love now i like this scent more than i like the original i'm gonna just be honest i never really i mean i can understand the hype surrounding dolce and gabbana's light blue it's definitely not a bad scent and i love my citrus fragrances so that one is appealing to me but i just never really wanted to wear it like i remember i had a really small sample size of it and i just never reached for it i like the smell but i never wanted to actually wear it this one right here i actually don't mind wearing it so love is love to me is um quite different than the original you can definitely smell the original dna in this one but it's quite different because this one is like green apple, raspberry, whipped cream. It's a sweeter take on the original. Like the raspberry, you can definitely smell it in here. You can definitely smell that creaminess. You still get the citrus along with the green apple. But like I said, it's just a sweeter better in my opinion version of the original light blue so i wanted to add that in here to get some use out of that one it has a nice small little dent in it but nothing too major next is going to be my estee lauder bronze goddess and i'm trying to see this is the old fresh version so to me simply put this one is a beachy tiari manoi oil coconut tropical scent okay that is the best way i can describe this to you guys because 
this has that very distinct tiari flower note in here but it's also a little bit crisp because of the bergamot but then you smell that creamy coconut it's actually not super super creamy like a milky coconut it's actually more like a fresh cracked open coconut but it's like the guts of the coconut so it's still kind of creamy as well this one is just super super pretty this is another one that i would definitely take on a vacation for one the bottle is absolutely stunning it screams vacation it just smells like vacation without giving that suntan lotion type of smell like to me this smells like glowing glittery shimmering skin that's like lightly scented with coconut oil like it's so pretty and i really really like this scent it's really really nice next up is going to be a newer but not so new fragrance to my collection this is going to be my valentino coral fantasy so this one i really really like this when i tried it out but i didn't wear it a whole lot you know i feel like i haven't gotten like a really good wears worth out of this fragrance so i wanted to go ahead and put it in here it has a slight dent in it but y'all know i overspray my fragrances so you know they're gonna have dents in them regardless but i really 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 wanted to wear this one a bit more so this is kiwi orange it has some florals in there and then it's a musky dry down like it's a floral musky dry down but i love the combination of that kiwi and that orange together it's really really bright and fruity and fresh and clean smelling when you first spray it and then you get like that musky floral dry down but the the fruity notes never really leave this scent so i think it's like a, a great wrap up of like a fruity floral type of scent so i want to get some use out of that one and i love like the the clinking sound of the perfumes on the tray asmr i love that i love that noise okay so next this is a scent that i've had in my collection for a while but i'm not too familiar with it at all i'm gonna be honest with y'all i wore this scent one time and never went back to it okay so i don't know much about this scent at all this is giorgio armani's terra di gioia and i bought this one because one it was on sale and then two i had a really really good experience with the aqua di gioia scent and i never really thought that i would buy scents like this you know because they're more on the fresh side and y'all know i don't do fresh scents like how many times i gotta say it but this one is supposed to be a pear and orange almond blossom musky type of scent okay so it smells good out of the bottle but it's just so uninteresting to me like if i'm being completely honest like that's pretty much the reason why i don't reach for this because it is just so uninteresting to me i don't know if it's just because i really need to get a feel for it and i really need to wear it to appreciate it but i just mm -mm. this one did not blow me away like the aqua di gioia did that one really took me by surprise because i wasn't expecting to like it because everybody describes it as a fresh scent and once again it's more of a crisp type of scent like it has that that mint that citrus you know it smells crisp not necessarily fresh in my opinion so i didn't want to buy this one and it be a super super fresh type of scent that i'm not into you know what i'm saying but we'll see because smelling it out of the bottle you know it's not a bad scent i like it but like i said it's just uninteresting so we will see i will definitely be updating you guys on how these perfumes did and if i wore them or not when i come back with my um next perfume tray so the last full size bottle that I'm going to add to this tray because I am going to add two little travel sprays so I can use them up. The last full size bottle is Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. This is what the bottle looks like. Very pretty, very nice. Oh So Sweet is one that I haven't worn in forever and quite literally I think I've only worn this perfume like twice and every time I've worn it I haven't like over sprayed it or really really went ham on it you know what i'm saying so this has that typical daisy scent profile like i'm assuming that it's the daisy flower in these perfumes that make them smell very very similar because i also have daisy love days as well as the original daisy love and they all have this very distinctive scent note that you know makes it a mark jacobs daisy love perfume and like i said it has to be the daisy because they all have that specific scent note but this is different because this also has that fruity raspberry sugary sweetness and literally like the notes in this perfume it has raspberry and sugar cubes like that's part of the notes so it definitely is a much sweeter take on the original daisy love it definitely gives me like fruity sugary vibes and that's the reason why i like it because if it was just a straight up like floral without any type of sweetness i would not like this perfume but i think this would be a nice summery floral scent it doesn't necessarily have to be for springtime time it can definitely go for summer as well so that is my last full size bottle like i said now let's get into these travel size sprays so the first one is going to be juicy couture we so this is literally a watermelon fragrance it gives me some tartness 
as well but you know it's mainly a watermelon fragrance this also has notes of tea acai berry and amber but i don't really get any of that like seriously i don't i don't understand how this fragrance doesn't have any citrus notes attached to it because i smell watermelon and citrus this is a very summery type of scent and i always pair this with like very summery fruity fragrances other watermelon scents other citrus scents you know because that's just what it gives me but um yeah this is juicy couture's we if i didn't show it to y'all i have like pretty much a full travel size spray left but this could definitely be used up in probably two uses if that it might be used up in one but you know and then the next one that i have is ysl mon peri mon peri is a nice scent but it's not one that i always want to wear like it's not one that i reach for a lot and this is also a fragrance that i get tired of smelling so i have actually worn this perfume a couple times and every single time as you guys can see it's down a little bit but every single time i've worn this perfume once again i did not overspray and I just got tired of wearing it. Like it's something about this scent profile that I don't love. And it's crazy because this has some really nice fruity notes. Like in the top, it has some really, really nice fruity notes. Like it has some citruses like bergamot and tangerine. It has strawberry, it has raspberry. It's very, very pretty in the top notes. But I don't know if it's like the combination of the patchouli and the musk and the like, it's like cedar in the dry down, but it has two different kinds of patchouli in the base notes which i don't even have a problem with patchouli but i think it's like a combination of both patchoulis and then it has moss and then it has cedar and then it has musk like it's just i don't know this is a scent profile that i just get tired of so i don't think i would ever buy the full size bottle of this but i do want to go ahead and finish off this travel size spray and with that said you guys this is my perfume tray my bi-weekly perfume tray for the rest of july these are all of the fragrances that i'm going to be using here for the next two weeks so i hope you guys enjoy seeing this video i hope you guys are excited to see and hear my thoughts on these fragrances i also hope y'all are looking forward to my next perfume tray and i will see you guys in the next one peace